Hi, this is Janos, it's Real World Audio, and unfortunately I had to cut my previous video short because I noticed that when I'm nearing 20 minutes, the camera has a tendency to uh, not save the videos and I get corrupted files and uh, recently, yesterday, <laughs> I lost two of my videos because of that. So now I'm becoming more aware and I hope that my previous video still turned out okay and I stopped it on time. So we were playing around with the idea of, um, of Lepeti versus uh, Void Pipe, which one you want to build. I think uh, those two videos, I, I hope it will be two videos and both of them uh, saved okay and I can publish it. If not, and you are wondering where is the second video, well in that case it didn't make it out of the camera, but let's hope it did. So let's come back here to uh, today's topic which is related to that. So uh, if you build any of them, you want some sort of amplifier that will be at the same level where your lepeti is or where the void pipes are and uh, and one way to do that is um, to build the, the baby darling or the pure darling amplifiers that I've been recommending and the baby darling is a, a very uh, I would say affordable thing it is a, a tube amplifier it's a single ended triode project uh, that you can build for about $500 or euros in, in that price range. And, uh, and I'm getting feedback that uh, some of you have already built the Darling amplifiers. And, uh, and now I'm like to focus on uh, Bastien's uh, response, his feedback that he has built his uh, Darling amplifiers and he is sharing his thoughts on it because I think a big uh, roadblock for many of you who want to build a, a, a tube amplifier for yourself is that when you read that it puts out less than one watt per channel th then you think that okay that probably doesn't have any volume at all and no bass and nothing at all. And uh, you are partly right because uh, if you have like a Wilson audio speaker or, or something that other very modern, very hype speaker that requires an arc welder to power it, to make it just uh, so that you can hear the faintest of sounds, you need like 100 plus watts just dumped into those beasts. So if you have uh, that kind of uh, speakers at home, then definitely flea power is not something good for you. It's not, it will not work out. However, if you have uh, Lepeti or you have void pipes or other speakers that are reasonably or, or very efficient and sensitive, then the tables are turned. And, and let's read Bastian's feedback on it. Uh, let's see. Obviously, I will need a lot more listening time with this amp, but I can straight away say that it's better than my 30 watt push pull Jadi DA50S, around 7,000 euros retail in 1996 and it has more powerful lower frequencies, the kind of sound you actually feel in your chest. Cheers, Bastian. So now we, we got some feedback that uh, a flea power amplifier to kicking the butt of a, of a, of a very strong uh, Jadi. And, and now you would say, ah, 30 watts is not very strong. But those of you guys who have heard this Jadi amplifier, you know that it has really gutsy sound and, and it sounds absolutely fantastic and fabulous. 
And, and if you wonder what the hell we are comparing this Darling amplifier against, when you look, uh, there is a Steve Gutenberg, the audiophiliac. He has made a video. It was a while ago. It took me like a very long time to, to find this video because even if I put like audiophiliac Jadi Orchestra, it would not bring it up in the YouTube search because it's already three years ago. And if you want to uh, search for videos like over uh, six months ago, YouTube is not going to give you the result in, in, in the top 100 result or so. So anyway, I had to go to Steve's uh, YouTube page and type in o Jadi Orchestra and then it, it gave it to me. So anyway, in this is the video, I will put the link to it. And, and here he reviews uh, the Jadi Orchestra, which is the baby brother of this DA50S. So uh, this is how the DA50S looks like. And if you, those of you who don't know what Jadi is, Jadi is the, I would say, the premier French uh, company who builds amplifiers. So, so if you want to find the most prestigious French amplifiers, it's Jadi. So we are talking about amplifier royalty. So the comparison was against uh, this illustrious member of the royalty, which is essentially uh, the, the bigger brother of the orchestra. So this is the more refined and much more expensive uh, version than the orchestra. It costs about three times as much as the orchestra. So we are talking about something really, really serious. And I mean, as, as far as uh, man, money cashed out for your purchases. And, and then if you want to buy it new, uh, where did I, I, somewhere I found here, current price, look at that. I'm not going to say out loud because this is not a commercial or advertisement for this amplifier, but that's the price you need to shell out for this amplifier. And the comparison was against this. Um, not this exact same one, but, but this uh, DA50S. Yes, uh, so where were we? So coming back here, uh, this is a, a, a 30 watt push pull amplifier, really, um, really powerful, I would say, in a sense that it, it gives you very clean power. It has a really wonderful grasp of diverse range of loudspeakers, and, and definitively you can use it to, to drive speakers that the uh, baby darling would not drive. But once we are talking about speakers that, that, that uh, like for example, void pipe that I recommended, or Le Petit, and you hook it up to the baby darling, then, uh, uh, then you, you get a result that compares against the Jadi big boy. And uh, I mean, big boy compared to the orchestra. Jadi has even bigger and more, much more, way more expensive amplifiers as well. But uh, I'm calling it as a big boy compared to the entry level Jadi orchestra. Uh, so, so it's it's just a, a feedback, just just as a compass for all of you guys that what I I gave you is not just another 500 euro or 500 dollar silly little project that you can muck around with but it's uh, here's the report it's well uh, it sounds really silly that it's not a giant killer in this case he reported that it was a giant killer but uh, in your case you might be using different speakers etc different room different taste but you still get the uh, the compass, the reference for yourself that it plays in the league of that big boy. So it's, it doesn't play in the league of uh, uh, three, four, five, six hundred dollar or not even like thousand, two thousand dollar amplifiers. 
it pays in the league of seven to ten thousand euro uh, commercial amplifiers so i think that's just an idea if you are thinking already about building the uh, le petit uh, either jean hiraga's original version jurgen's version that will be coming out soon or my version or you want to build uh, my void pipe and you are wondering that okay I, you have some sort of amplifier with it but you want to step up then here's the feedback for you that it's a nice way to step up with these speakers so have a wonderful uh, holiday season all of you guys Merry Christmas Happy New Year it's, it's this time I'm making this on Christmas Day so uh, thank you all uh, bye bye